Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to find the six trigonometric functions for this right triangle, and these are the six trigonometric functions. Sine theta, it's opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine theta, adjacent over the hypotenuse. Tangent theta, opposite over the adjacent. Cotangent theta, adjacent over the opposite. Second theta, hypotenuse over the adjacent. And cosecant theta, hypotenuse over the opposite. Then from this given right triangle, and theta is the reference angle. So for the opposite side, so opposite for this angle, and 12 is the opposite side. Then for the hypotenuse, that's the longest side of a right triangle. Opposite to this 90 degrees angle, 13 is the hypotenuse, and 5 is the adjacent. So to find out the six trigonometric functions, sine theta, that's opposite over the hypotenuse. So opposite is 12 and hypotenuse is 13. So sine is 12 over 13. Cosine theta, that's adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the adjacent is 5, hypotenuse is 13. So cosine is 5 over 13. Then tangent theta, that's opposite over the adjacent. Opposite is 12, adjacent is 5, so 12 over 5. Cotangent theta, it's adjacent over the opposite. So adjacent is 5, over the opposite is 12, so 5 over 12. Then second theta, it's hypotenuse. Over the adjacent, hypotenuse is 13, over the adjacent is 5, so 13 over 5. Then the last one, the cosecant theta, hypotenuse over the opposite. So hypotenuse is 13 and opposite is 12. So these are the six trigonometric functions for this right triangle. Then for this given, so the opposite side, opposite to this angle theta, and 6 is the opposite. The hypotenuse, opposite to this 90 degrees angle, so 10 is the hypotenuse, and 8 is the adjacent. So to find out the 6 trigonometric functions, sine theta, opposite over hypotenuse, opposite is 6, Hypotenuse is 10, then reduce divisible by 2, that's 3 over 5. Then for cosine theta, that's adjacent over the hypotenuse. Adjacent is 8, hypotenuse is 10, then reduce, that's 4 over 5. Tangent theta, it's opposite over the adjacent. Opposite is 6, adjacent is 8, so reduce 3 over 4. Then cotangent theta, adjacent over the opposite. Adjacent is 8, opposite is 6, so it's 4 over 3. Then for second theta, hypotenuse over the adjacent. Hypotenuse is 10, adjacent is 8, so that's 5 over 4. Then the last one, the cosecant theta, hypotenuse over the opposite. So hypotenuse is 10, opposite is 6, so it's 5 over 3. So these are the 6 trigonometric functions for this given right triangle.